Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to set different product descriptions for each of your product variants. So the first thing we have to do is to navigate to where we have our product variants. So once you click on your circular option list here, you would see um, the outer circle, which is representative of the variant. So what you have to do now is to duplicate the outer circle. And once you've duplicated the outer circle, um, now you have one um, option for each of your variants, you understand? So the next thing we would want to do is to click on the description. So this is the description that we're pulling dynamically from um, our Shopify store. And what we would want to do right now is to create different states for this description, right? So what that means is that we're going to be creating states whereby when we click on the first variant, would want a specific description to show. And when we click on the second variant, would want a different description to show. You understand and to do that is quite straightforward um let me delete the existing ones right so this is how it's going to look by default we have our description selected and now we're going to create states so the first state is going to be for the first variant custom state we're going to name this um extra small name this extra small and then we're going to add another state called small right so what we've just done is that we've just created two different states for our description right and then so the next step is that for each of the states we're going to change the text so we're going to change this for example for the first one This is extra small. We're going to name this uh, a small description. And then for the small one, we can just put a place where that text code. description right so what we've just done is that we've just added the right text that we want for you know the two variants um, using two different states right so the next thing we're going to do now is to make sure that we have the variant selected so uh, this is the first one um, for the first variant extra small so we can rename this to extra small and then when we click on it would want to click on interaction and click on on click the reason why we have this flow is that we want a process whereby when you click on this particular variant you know it automatically populates the right description for this select variant so what we're going to do now is to choose an interaction called activate state and select the component in our case the component that we're trying to activate is the product description right or the description for this specific variant and then we can select the state which is extra small hit the save button and then we're going to do the same thing for the second one called uh, small. so when we click on small click on interaction on click Activate state, select the component called description, and select the state called small. Then it's save. So what we've just done is that we've just um, created states for the product description for this particular variant, and then we've added an interaction to both variants. So if we go to preview, extra small, and small so now we have you know we have it functioning whereby each variant has a different product description thank you